Hello Aquarius. How are you guys today? This is your mid-monthly reading for now till the end of the month of October 2018. We're almost two months. Oh my gosh, can you believe? We've got Halloween coming up and then we've got Thanksgiving and then Christmas. Wow, that's just like, it's almost here. The stressful days are coming. The holidays are coming. People are going to be singing. Are you going to be one of them, Aquarius? All right, so let's just get these. I've already pre-shuffled, and we're going to just get right into this and where we got energy. Now, as I was saying, <laughs> pardon the interruption here, so I had to pause the video for a moment. So we have, <laughs> you know how other people like to get on the camera? Well, I have one of those kind of energies around me that just has to make herself shown. <laughs> so I decide to record so I can have a little more control over this. It takes a little bit longer. I apologize for this. You can time stamp this as far as when I start your reading for you, Aquarius. So this is for sun sign, moon sign, rising sign, and Venus sign for the sign of Aquarius. I wonder what people think when they <laughs> drive by my house at night time and they can see me sitting at my table talking to the camera. Hmm. wonder what they think. That I've lost it? <laughs> Joking. Anyways, I should delete that too, right? But I'm not going to. I don't care. <laughs> it was a random wild thought. So, Chris, do you have random wild thoughts going through your mind today? Let's see what kind of energy is here for you. Oh, here we go. I'm going to pull those down so you can have a view of what the cards are. Let's see if it focuses. Come on. Focus. Oh, okay, it will focus. All right, there we are. 250. Okay, look at that, of course. You have this card right there. That's your energy that you're coming in for the rest of this month. You're coming in inquisitive. You're wanting to find out things. You're investigating. You're looking for answers, searching for answers. You're maybe also being communicative. How do I say that word? You're also communicating. You're using your judgment and giving words to other people you're saying things and you're saying it in a right strong manner but you're also exploring your environment outside of your environment you're looking for things yeah see how and sometimes maybe some of the words that you're communicating maybe they might be a little bit stilly like well wait where's my finger there's my finger it's weird looking See that? They could be as still as ice. Well, as still as this rod, whatever it's made out of. I believe the background does have a lot of snow, so the environment might be a little chilly, eh? So that is your energy, Aquarius. And this is the Page of Swords, the truth seeker, the truth teller. You are exploring truth. You're listening to communication, finding out facts. You use your mind. Let's see <clears throat> why this is all here. Hmm. So we have, oh, just beautiful. We have this Six of Pentacles. We have the Nine of, how to make sure, Nine of Wands. And we have the Nine of Cups. You got two cups. Oh my gosh. So this is you. You are coming in as, <laughs> you're being, uh, you're like feeling worn out. You've been fighting, you're defending yourself. This is why you are now going out, finding, looking for truth and answers and stuff. You've been pretty defensive. You've had, you felt like you've had to just totally defend your ground, your beliefs, everything. And now you're like, Oh, God, you're just feeling so worn out. And this is happening, like, because in the past, you had wishes that you wanted. You were wishing for something. This is emotional. You had wishes, and maybe they came true, huh? 
the wishes. Maybe they, those are the things that you want and you've stood and fought for those wishes. And in your present, you've just recently began to see that uh, maybe you've given more to others than what they've given to you. Or maybe, and that's also making you come here, becoming defensive. Like, now you're standing your ground. You're so worn out from trying to give to others and not get the same amount back. But these have a lot to do with your wishes, too. <laughs> you still have wishes. Maybe you're feeling they're unresolved. They're still there, but they're not fulfilled in the way. So now you're going forth to seek clarity. You're seeking so let's see what else is going on for you guys, Aquarius, for this energy. Why? What are you thinking? What's in your thoughts of regarding all this right here? And we have the strength card. So you're feeling like you have the strength. You're thinking, I have the strength to do this. I can do this. I know I can. I can continue on. I'm Even though it's been a hard battle, and yeah, I may not have... Maybe I'm giving more to some people than I am getting back in return. You know, I still have the strength to go on with my wishes, what I want. I have that strength to keep going. But it's a tough battle, right? To stay continuously knowing at yeah, any moment you just want to maybe just drop it all. Instead, you're seeking truth on this. And you're going to be saying maybe some cutting words. We'll see what else. Because of the strength card, we have people liking to make themselves known on TV. <laughs> Gosh darn it. Little stinkers. Okay. We have the Five of Cups. So you're actually going out into your environment and you're not getting the resources that you're needing. You're not going to find, you don't feel like you're getting people outside of you aren't able to help you like they're turning you away on something see that it's like come on you go even though you have the strength to go forward it's like oh god there goes that darn dog having to bark because he hears me talking so he thinks that he should talk back <laughs> i apologize for that so yeah you're going forward outside even though you feel that people may turn against you may make you feel like you're in the feeling of being left out in the cold, but you really having to go forward doing this anyways, because you want to get this truth. So here's what you're feeling though, even though you're feeling like you're, you know, being ignored by your fellow people that you're going to try to find information, you're feeling like, oh, I, I feel emotionally fulfilled. Maybe this is what you're wanting to feel, but that's, in your feeling, I'm feeling emotionally fulfilled. Okay, let's see. We have the Seven of Cups in your environment. You've got a lot of options. We have the Ten of Wands. My God. See, now you have had you coming in with this energy right here. And remember I said that you just seem like you're just so fed up with this stuff that you've continuously fought for in here. You're expecting to drop the burden. There's your ten of wands. I'm not really surprised that it's here. It's just that it's surprising that it came off this deck. You've got the ten of cups on the other side. I mean, look at that. You got the ten of cups over here. Wait, you can't see that, can you? Oh my goodness. Okay, there. Here, I'll just put these on top so you can. The ten of cups is right here, and then. You've got the Seven of Cups, and now you have the Ten of Wands. Like, this is action. These are thoughts. These are feelings, okay? You've got, you're feeling that you want this emotional happiness, but you've got options outside that you got to choose from. And you're like, oh my God, this is too much. i got to drop something here, right? So now you've got two tens on both sides of the seven. That's kind of interesting there. Now, let's see what your outcome card is. This is like, yeah, you're fine. You're trying to find clarity and you're doing it at a turtle's pace. Because <laughs> see the little turtle right there? Right here's the turtle. It's like the turtle, they move really slow unless they're in the water. Then they seem to go fast, right? Like snapping turtles. 
Hmm. Here you've actually come to, this is your your expectation card. What you're expecting is that you're gonna be able to bring it into all this hard work that you've been doing. You're ready to just drop it all and you're already dropping pieces behind you. And look, that wagon in the background is broken down from all the hard work it's been put through. Things break down, right? And so now you're having to carry your load physically in your hands and walking <laughs> but you're still determined because look at the strength in those feet they're like i can do this i'm bound and determined but you're not watching where you're going hmm the outcome card look at that oh you're balancing out everything that is so cool so you're taking your emotions and balancing them out and that's quite the way to do things because if you can balance out your emotions then <laughs> it looks like you maybe took in two cups from here. I see that seven, eight, nine. Okay, yeah, you took two cups from here. Look at that. And you took in them. Remember down here you had in your past you had the nine cups. It went down to seven. Here you have ten, right? And you've narrowed it down to seven, right? Now you've narrowed it down to two and you're blending them together to see how they're going to fit. So you've dropped all of these other options you had, like maybe five of them, right? Maybe those are the five that were left out here in the cold. See how they're now they're set in stone. Those are buried underneath the, they're on top of someone's foundation. They're above your doorway that walks into your home. Those are set in stone. Those five cups that you left behind out of this, that you decided to make an end to that. And so now you have two cups that you're able to blend together. And look how beautiful that is. That's peaceful. So that was 11 minutes. Um, I can clarify this really quick. I will do that as long as I have no interruptions from some little children that like to, well, teenagers. All right, this one you saw, man, right on top of there. So you're going out as the page, the page of here, is because you're feeling pretty independent and secure in yourself. You feel very secure in yourself, and you feel that you can go forward and bring this information or take information out to other people that you need to do or go find that information. You feel like you're going to be able to find that. And you're here with the Six of Cups or the Six of Pentacles because you have you had to make a choice what was right for you and the Ten of Wands well wait we're not gonna I should shuffle right or the Nine of Wands why are you defensive and that would be because you have <laughs> the Seven of Pentacles you've actually went and you've done other work and stuff and you went to see hold on one second so yeah, you've grown something, you've actually went out and started things and you're watching them all blossom and you're tending to that and yeah, you're defending yourself on that, you know, you're standing up for that and what was in your wishes? For your wish, you know, your nine of cups here, let's see what was your wishes. It's like you took those two cups and got the seven cups over there. <laughs> That's just craziness. Alrighty, so we have this you went out and you actually went and explored and talked with other people in order to go you know deal with your wishes so yeah you went out and you went and listened to other people you explored your environment for one second again so yes you went out and explored your environment. How many times should I say that, right? <laughs> okay, so you went out and explored your environment because you were inspired. You had like the full energy. You take a leap of faith. You're so inspired. You want to do this thing. And those are your dreams and wishes. And so you're sharing with everybody to see their intake of or their reaction to whatever it is you have to say. And you're listening. And you're listening to the gossip in the real too around you from other people about what you have to say, how they're saying things, you know. So yeah, you're taking it all in, absorbing all that information there. That's a lot, right? <laughs> okay, 
And yeah, I guess I get into my head a little bit too much there, but I'm saying what I see. So why do we have the strength card here? Well, we have the strength here because you, you're wanting to be defensive towards other people while you're defending yourself. You feel like you need to be defensive. You need to be able to have that strength because you feel you're going to have to defend your, your beliefs, everything, you know, what you want. And so the five of coins, why is that here? Because you have to feel victorious and needed. You want to feel needed. And you going out there, you're going to have to feel like this kind of energy. You want to have victory. You want to be noticed. So even though you're going out there and people are like making you feel like you're left out in the cold, you know that. But still, you know, you're going to still have people that are supportive towards you. So you don't need to worry about those people. You have pretty, you have that security. I mean, here you are, you're pretty secure in yourself, pretty self-confident. You have that sword energy going for you too. And so when people leave you out in the cold, you have no problem with that. You definitely have no problem because you rise above it. And there's still going to be people that will support you regardless of the ones that haven't supported you in whatever quest it is that you are on. So why do we have the Ten of Cups for you? And it's because you want emotional fulfillment because you're going, it'll, you feel like you're gonna have this, you feel that you'll have calmer mind frame, a peaceful environment. And the Seven of Cups is here because you've got choices because you walked away from <laughs> You walked away from other eight cups. Oh my God! So you had, so you walked away from eight cups before. So did you have eighteen? Oh, let's see, what's fifteen cups that you had available to you, or was this your wish? <laughs> because here you have in your wishes, you know, there's nine cups there, and now you're like. Here you're walking, you walked away from eight cups, but you got seven cups sitting there. Hmm, interesting. You got two cups, okay. We're just not gonna, that is gonna resonate for you how you see that the Ten of Wands is here because you're having the Empress energy of being really totally 100% secure. This is in someone who is so secure, so confident. Look at that confidence of the yin yang <laughs> you're you have enough confidence in you that even if you this was a huge burden you could still go forward even though you're dropping things and things are breaking behind you and you can't see your way maybe even if you're blinded you're still having the confidence to do this you're ending it dropping it maybe but you're still wanting to go forward. You don't care if things fall out and break. You're still going forward. You want to be victorious. <laughs> and yeah, you're like, yep, I can do this. I mean, that is just like so amazing, this reading. And then, of course, with the two cups that you're blending together as your outcome this month, for the end of this month, temperance, you're... I mean, you've managed to gain some really awesome patience. And so, look at that. Your two of cups has to do with the lovers. So you have gained some major patience. And it was destined to happen because you got two major arcanas here. These are destined events that happen in your life that come around, that you bring around in your life. And so this for is for someone out there, Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus sign. For one of you, this is what you've managed to temper. You've managed to put a lot of patience and work into this relationship, and now you're blending it together. Like, oh, that's just beautiful. Look at that, see? Ta-da! So there you go. I hope you guys enjoyed that reading and I will see you guys again. So have a great, awesome month and happy Halloween. It's not Halloween yet though, but hey. <laughs>